Okay, now, now we have the blood sample obtained, basically we keep the pouch sealed until we're ready to test uh, the sample. We have the test cassette in place and now we need to add the, the drop of reagent into the sample. Remember that we only need one drop of blood as per the short instructions. We also need four drops of the reagent. The four drops now will be added. One, two, three, four. And we can mix mix up the mixture. Once this is done, we simply take the pipette and squeeze it initially to take up the solution. And then we want to add three drops of the solution into the into the well of the test cassette. We basically have to wait now until until the solution works its way up through the test cassette. This can take a few minutes. We can start to see now on the test cassette where the solution is working up working its way up through the test cassette from the well. Basically on the test cassette itself we've got two lines. We've got a control line to indicate that the test cassette is working properly and a test line which will indicate whether the cow is either pregnant or not pregnant. For this to be complete it will take 10 minutes as indicated in the short instructions. After the 10 minutes time has elapsed we can see now on the test cassette that we have a control line very evident which indicates that the test is working. We also have a test line very evident as well which indicates that the cow is pregnant.